the CEO, Elon Musk, has just announced on the company's website that the company is going to be opening up all of its patents for other automakers and others in the auto industry to use. It is rare and it is bold. Tesla is sharing its secrets, opening its patents for the world to see. We haven't seen this type of move from any automaker. This is completely unusual when it comes to the auto industry. Tesla's decision to open up its patents is a perfect example of both the allergy to convention this electric car company seems to have and also the tremendous scope of its ambition. They're not just trying to build a car company. They are trying to build a whole new industry, one that would mean a shift from today's gas guzzlers to zero emissions electric vehicles with massive implications for the economy and for the climate. Tesla is that rarest of success stories, a successful and innovative young American automaker. With a stock price that has exploded over the past five years, an astounding $30 billion market valuation, and a claim for selling what Consumer Reports considers the best car you can buy. I had a chance to sit down with Elon Musk, the visionary behind it all. So we were doing research when we were doing one, a segment on Tesla, and we were going back to the archives of American car startups that have failed. Right. This which is, is a big archive, I'm sure. Yeah, and it's actually a big, it's a big <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia absolutely. page. It was actually kind of fun. It's like, oh, I didn't like, know wow. they, someone tried. I was like, wow, well, you know, all these Basically, dreamers. Yes, that, like, a big graveyard. So why is it, why are you guys, how have you avoided that fate so far? Why, why is Tesla working so far? Well, I, I think, you know, when you look at the other car companies, uh, there wasn't really any big technology discontinuity. There wasn't some sort of step change in technology that warranted the creation of a new car company in America. Whereas with the advent of electric cars, I think it's the biggest change uh, in automotive since the, the, the moving production line. It's a really a substantial change, and it does lend itself to uh, expertise from outside the car industry. And I think that provides an opportunity for a company like Tesla. Um, and, and in fact, I'm, I'm, I've, I've somewhat been surprised at, at how much um, a, of a lead we have. We actually d don't want to have uh, uh, the, the lead we have. Uh, we're, we're hoping that uh, other car companies would follow us faster. You just had this patent decision, and this this gets the point you're saying. You, you're further ahead from you're further ahead of other car park companies than you would like to be. Yeah. Because there's a certain kind of broad interest you have in the diffusion of electric cars, right? Right. Is that, what's, is that what is driving your recent decision to essentially not pursue uh, intellectual property claims uh, on your own patents? Yeah, we decided to, to open up the, the, the patents um, because we think it's important that the, there be a lot of electric cars in the world. Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, is this really an altruistic decision? It, you know, uh, it, does altruism, altruism e even exist? No company would really do that. Uh, but I think it's important to bear in mind that um, we're really all on the same ship, uh, you know, of, of being, being Earth. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if, if Tesla succeeds, but, uh, but then uh, the, the sort of climate is destroyed, I mean, I'm not sure that actually helps uh, Tesla. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's sort of like, like let's say you want to... Well, and the oh, AC, yeah. you have to crank the AC, which runs down the battery... <laughs> yeah, right. It's a self-defeating situation. But, I mean, I am not sure what the appropriate analogy is, but, I mean, a ship-based a ship analogy might, might be appropriate here, where it's like, let's say there's a, 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 there's a bunch of people on a ship and there's a bunch of holes in the ship. And, you know, we're, 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 we're quite good at sort of bailing the water out of our section, uh, and we've, we've invented this nice bucket. Um, it, it would be foolish of us not to share that bucket design, because if the ship goes down, we're going with it. Now that you are uh, selling batteries to some other car companies, do you... What do you see happening in the rest of the car industry? I mean, it, can you imagine that we're going to see a slide towards kind of battery plus electric drivetrain or, uh, or not? I mean, what, what, do you, what do you predict that the other car companies are going to do as this technology develops? Well, um, my observation of the car industry thus far is that with a few exceptions, uh, the, uh, the only electric cars that are made are, are driven by regulations. You know, or in other words, like the, the governments will say you've got to make some number of electric cars. So they'll make it sort of a, you know, that exact number and no more, which is quite a small uh, movement. The, the, the other force, I think, is, is, is competition. So if they see that, well, if they don't make electric cars, then they're going to lose market share, then I, I think that will get them to make electric cars. Um, Meaning you guys are the proof of concept from a market perspective. If you start making a lot of money, if you start showing that people will buy your car, then you're, you're going to see the rest of the industry yes, flood in. Exactly. Um, so if, 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 people are buy, if, 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 if consumers show that they want electric cars, they, that they buy our cars and they buy our cars instead of uh, gasoline cars, then, uh, then I think that that, that makes the, the, uh, the, the big manufacturers set up to take notice and say, well, maybe we should have a serious electric car program. 
because uh, otherwise Tesla is going to uh, take away our market share. Uh, that, that seems to be a, a, a good forcing function. How far are you from that point? Well, we're pretty far from that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're very tiny. Um, so uh, last year we did 22,000 cars. This year we're uh, aiming to do uh, 35,000. So on a percentage basis, it's, it's quite big growth. But considering that there were almost 100 million uh, cars made last year, uh, we're not even next to the decimal point. So we've got a ways to go before we even get next to the decimal point in percentage market share. Um, but, um, but, but we are doing quite well in our particular segment. So if you say uh, premium sedans uh, in the United States, we actually uh, were the best-selling premium sedan last year in the United States in terms of the high end. Yeah. Now, if there's a single person best positioned to say where we are and where we need to be on the issue of climate change, it's Elon Musk, who is at the forefront of the fight to rein in carbon emissions. I asked him where we now stand, and what he said really surprised me. That's ahead.